Welcome to third grade number talk week four of our video series. Um, this week's strategy is addition strategy for adding up in chunks. Um, this is a strategy that really focuses on children counting by, or students I should say, counting by tens um, and taking advantage of knowing that piece of information. Um, for some kids this strategy works really well, for others I know it. It's not a strategy that they utilize, it's just something for them to be aware of and understand the relationship of numbers. You know, a lot of people, we're going to look at A and say that 33 plus 30, they're going to know it's 63. But if you didn't know it was 63, well, wouldn't you know that 30 is the same as 3 tenths? So if we start at 33 and we count it up 3 tenths from 33, well, we have 33. It's our starting number. Our first 10 gets us to 43. Our second 10 gets us to 53. Our third 10 gets us to 63. So we know that 33 plus 30 is 63. For this one, there's really only one way to do the adding up in chunks um, for that type of problem. For B, there's actually two different ways. Again, we can look at 33 plus 32, and we may know it's exactly 65. Fantastic. Or we may actually look at it and say, well, I know that 32 is the same as 3 tens plus 2. So I can start again at 33 and, and count up from 33 and say, well, 43, 53, 63. Those are my tens, but then I still have to add my 2, which gets me to 65. Or, I know for some students, when they look at this problem, they will actually say, they'll say, well, I'm still going to break my 32 into 3 tens plus 2. But the difference is they're going to automatically add that 2 to their 33. So they're going to say 33 plus 2 is going to give them their 35. 35 becomes their starting point to count by 3 tenths. So 35, so their first 10 gets them to 45, 55, 65. <coughs> Excuse me. Either way gets them to the same final answer. Um, for C, 73 plus 58. Um, again, there's a couple different ways we can do this. Again, some of us look at 73 plus 58, and we automatically know that's 131, um, which is fantastic. There's nothing wrong with that. But again, if we're using the adding up and chunk strategy, um, we have a choice to make. Do we want to break up the 73 into 7 tens plus 3, or the 58 into 5 tens plus 8? I personally am going to break up the smaller number because I'd much rather start with the higher number. The same as when you're doing the counting on strategy or adding on strategy um, when you first learned how to add in, in kind of kindergarten, first grade, where somebody told you 7 plus 5. And you started at 7 and you went 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 because you counted on or you added on. Adding up in chunks is applying the same thing, but we're doing it by groups of 10. So if I took my... Fifty-eight, and I thought of it as 50 plus 8, or again, 5 tens plus 8. Well, start at 73. I would say 83, 93, 103, 113, 123. So I would have 123, and I would still have to add my 8 to that which would give me my 131. I know for some people, they actually would automatically take the 8 to the 73, so they would actually say 73, and they know that 8 is the same as 7 plus 1, so they'd say, if they thought about decomposing number, they'd say 73 plus 7 is 80, 
80 plus 1 is 81. And then from 81, they would start to, you know, do their 5 tens. So again, the 5 tens would say 81, so they'd go 91, 101, 111, 121, 131, and then they would still have that final answer of 131. So this, like I said, this was this strategy is adding up in chunks. Um, I'm not going to say it's the most efficient strategy, but I definitely like the fact um, that it falls back to the friendly tens and gets kids thinking about relationships from one value to the next in, in, in chunks of 10. Um, thank you very much and look forward to seeing everybody, well I should say talking to everybody next week.